Hi, it's Martha. I have some books to tell you about today that you might want to add to your summer reading list. First up are some early chapter books for second and third grade. Rosie Revere, Ada Twist, and Iggy Peck have had picture books written about them, but this is a cha chapter book series called The Questionnaires, where they use their skills and talents to solve puzzles and sometimes solve mysteries. So I recommend those, those are fun. I hope there'll be more in that series. Next up is um, mystery adventure story, suspenseful and funny, the absolutely true story, How I Visited Yellowstone Park with the Terrible Roops. And this is about a brother and sister, 12 year old twins, whose parents allow them to go on a summer vacation motorhome trip with neighbors who are new to the neighborhood. Really, the parents don't know these neighbors very well, and it turns into quite the disastrous trip. There are two mysterious men following them, and there's some suspenseful moments. It's very exciting. But also the wonderful Yellowstone setting, Yellowstone Park, and the whole idea of a summer vacation road trip perfect for summer reading. The next one is Ahmed Aziz, Ahmed Aziz's Epic Year. And this is the story of a boy who's, because of his father's illness, his family has had to move from Hawaii to Minnesota. So he is dealing with huge culture shock, not just culture, but weather. The weather is so different. And really, they are almost the only brown-skinned family in in this small town and so he he really is going through a lot of changes and this is a quite a funny story but also with some moving moments where he has to make new friends deal with a bully and find out more about his own family so i really enjoyed this one it's quite an epic year the next one is also set during the summer vacation. Consider the Octopus is about a semester at sea where high school students are on a research vessel and are doing projects. And JB's mother is in charge of it. And although JB is only 12, he has to go along with his mother on the ship with all these high schoolers. And he thinks he is gonna be bored stiff. Well, one of his jobs before the ship leaves is to contact a bunch of famous scientists and ask them to meet the ship at the Great Pacific Garbage Patch, where they're going to be doing um, sort of an expose of all the plastic floating in the ocean. And he has a list of scientists, and he mistakenly invites a 12-year-old girl who has the same name as a famous scientist, and she jumps at the chance to get away from summer camp and go on this sea voyage. So consider the octopus has some great friendship stuff, some wonderful um, being on board the ship, some research things, and quite a bit about saving the ocean, the problems that we face, it's a little bit of everything, and it's told in alternating voices between the boy and the girl. So a very fun read. Happily for Now is about a girl who is really a take charge sort of a person. She feels like she can solve other people's problems, but she doesn't really notice that she might have some problems of her own to work on. So when she has to spend the summer with some relatives that she doesn't know very well, she sees them as a challenge that she can tackle, that she can fix all their uh, the things that are wrong in their lives. And along the way, of course, she finds out some things about herself. So um, this one was really, really fun and interesting. Um, very interesting about how she is helped by uh, different experiences to see how to face her own life and what's going on. Finally, here is The Marvelers, and this is incredible. This is for Harry Potter fans or any fan of adventure fantasy. This is um, very similar to Harry Potter in that it's about a girl who goes off to mag a magical school, the way Harry goes to Hogwarts, 
But in this case, the marvelers <clears throat> are magicians, but um, Ella is part of a family of conjurers, which use quite a different sort of magic. And she is the first conjurer to ever be allowed to go to the marvelers school. And so uh, she is in essence integrating their school and has some problems with um, uh, other students who don't want her to be there and mysteries that she has to solve. Very rich in detail about the different kinds of magic and the things that they study. And of course, the school is a wonderful setting. It's up in the clouds and has a lot of uh, wonderful magical details. So those are some books I think you might like. Uh, we have them at the library. Please come in and check them out and happy summer.